Good afternoon, everybody. <clears throat> this is Joe with Pampered Chef. I just wanted to film a quick video. I'm going to be making a homemade chili uh, in the new uh, Pampered Chef quick cooker. So now with this device, I'm going to show you how easy it is to make a chili recipe. Now this recipe is in the um, handbook that comes with the quick cooker. Now with the quick cooker, the amazing part about it is that it does come with 16 different settings. And one of the biggest safety features for me, which I'm going to show you here, and I will show you later on in the video, is this is the lid that locks down. And with this pressure valve, when this is raised, that means when this red button is raised and flush with the rest of it, that means that it's up to pressure. When the recipe is done, all you have to do is press this button here. And as you can see, this is where the uh, pressure will be released from. You don't have to worry about trying to turn this knob. It's away from the button itself, which is a pretty cool feature. I myself have the Pressure Cooker XL. I purchased that a few years ago. And with that locking lid, you actually have to try to go as fast as you can to release that pressure from the lid. So that's pretty much what attracted me to the Pampered Chef uh, Quick Cooker, not only because I'm a consultant, but with that safety feature alone, that was a big thing for me because there were countless times when I wasn't quick enough to release that pressure. So that's one thing you want to be conscious of. So let's get started with the with the homemade chili. So let's get started with, um, I'm going to cut up an onion here. Now what they did with the knives too is they had redesigned the knives. They added this with the three rivets to it. They gave it a wood handle, and it's constructed from one piece of steel, so you don't have to worry about the handle breaking off. So we're just going to cut this onion into chunks. Let's just throw that here. Now, <clears throat> we have the manual food processor. This is an amazing little gadget. It has three very, very sharp blades in it, like that. And on the bottom, there is a rubber gasket, so you don't have to worry about it sliding. Uh, <clears throat> you can kind of see it here. Let me see, let me try to angle this a little bit different so you could see my prep area. So this has the rubber gasket on the bottom, so you don't have to worry about it sliding when you are, when you are cranking this. So we're just gonna get this started. The lid on this locks down for storage, so all you do is just release that that way. And then just crank away. The sharp blades will cut right through anything. Now with this manual processor, it is great for uh, whip up a quick salsa, whip up a uh, quick guacamole. A lot of new moms like to make their own baby food in it, so that's a great thing. Definitely don't have any preservatives or anything like that from the canned stuff. So just a, a few quick cranks on that will chop this onion fine. I do still have that traditional slap chopper one from quite a few years ago. Mine is about, God, 15, 16 years old. This one, it's kind of, I guess you could say the um, upgraded version of that. So I'm going to head and grab some avocado oil. I'm going to throw that in here. Just a couple of tablespoons worth. So what we want to do is set this to sear. And I always start at the wrong end, of course. So it's on sear and we hit start. So now what that is going to do, that's going to heat up the inside and that's where you would um, quickly saute your vegetables or you would sear a piece of meat, stuff like that. Gonna get all this onion in there. Rub a spatula, very handy. So with this, you can make the onions as um, chunky as you want. You can chop them as fine as you want. 
And just an FYI, per the uh, use and care instructions, the blade and the base part of the manual food processor are dishwasher safe. This is hand wash only, so always keep that in mind, okay? You don't want a chance getting too much uh, water in there and, and ruining the gears. So one thing I always recommend to all of my customers is always, always, always follow the use and care instructions on anything you purchase through Pampered Chef. If you do, they'll last you a long time. All right, so let's throw this in the sink. I have another cutting board here. So now this is going to heat up really fast. Oh, another thing too is with the <clears throat> with the rubber spatulas, they are heat safe, so you don't have to worry about them melting on you. They do come in three different sizes, whatever your cooking needs are, or your kitchen needs, I should say. So we'll just leave that in there. So now what I have set to um, <clears throat> is I have all of the different spices in one area. So the different spices are uh, two teaspoons of salt, chili, uh, I'm sorry, one and a half tablespoons of chili powder, one teaspoon of ground cumin, one and a half teaspoons of dried oregano, and also one teaspoon of black pepper. And that's all in this one little prep bowl. I don't think you guys would want to sit here watching me measure spices out. So I have everything prepped here. So we're just going to cook these onions down a little bit. For this too, we're going to cut up a green pepper. The green pepper I like to leave in, uh, in uh, bigger chunks in case anybody wants to um, pick them out, they can. Let me just rinse this off. All right. <clears throat> okay. So now <clears throat> we have this cooking up. So now the recipe calls for a, a two pound chuck roast cut up into small bite sized pieces which is what I have here. Now the beauty about the Pampered Chef knives is that they will just cut right through. You're not really doing too much of that sawing action. So with this recipe too, you want to make the... You can make the um, pieces of beef as big or as small as you want. One thing I always recommend too with, with the Pampered Chef recipes is that just make it any way that you want to do. You can you can modify them any way you want. Like I find them to be, I don't want to say basic, but in a way you can just make them any which way you want to. 
Let's give this a quick stir. So we're just gonna add this right to the pot. We can get that started. This recipe is great for a, for a cold winter night. Now with the quick cooker too, there are tons of recipes for, um, there's an amazing cheesecake one on there. There's one for a cooked chocolate pudding. That one is a really good recipe too. Just gonna cancel that, we don't need everything to burn. So let me throw this in the sink. I'm gonna rinse off my hands, I'll be right back. I realized I touched that before. Okay, I'm back. So I just want to give this a stir because all those onions on the bottom. Okay. Okay, so we're going to add the seasoning. So these are all of the seasonings that I mentioned before. I'm going to dump that in there. And then <clears throat> one cup of dried red kidney beans. Now the great thing about the quick cooker is that this is going to cook these dried beans in no time. So we're going to go through that. This is the stainless steel colander set this comes in three sizes it comes as a set of three and this is the smallest of the three now this is like a reinforced reinforced wire bound stainless steel mesh very durable um, probably one of the easiest things that i have purchased one of the greatest things i've purchased the nice colander set when you're mixing this up you do want to be careful because this will get hot now because it's a pressure cooker you want to add water so we're going to add two cups, uh, two and a half cups of water to this pot. Now this is the batter bowl. This comes in a four cup capacity. This is also a larger eight cup capacity. Uh, these are oven safe to 420 degrees, which is pretty cool. And the they also come with the lid. So if you were doing anything with like pancake batter and stuff like that, and you didn't use it all, you can just throw the lid right on it and store it right in the fridge. Okay. All right, so we've got everything stirred up. Now, one 28 ounce can of crushed tomatoes. For this one, I have no salt added. It was on sale this week. I think it was 79 cents for this can. You really can't complain. Now, with the No Edge can opener, now this is a very old one, but this is one of the first Pamper Chef ones to come out. Now, this will give you the smooth edge, and then it has little teeth on the ends to grab the lid. So I'm going to do that. Dump that right in there. Throw this over here. 
And then one small can of tomato paste will go in the pot as well. Okay. There it is. Just wanted to give me a hard time. Now this thing, I always recommend this. I, I don't know why, but this is one of the most handy tools that I have in my kitchen. This is the scoop and spread. Now this has a stiffer end here. Now it, it's serrated here, so you would use this to cut a bagel or an English muffin and it's a little bit firmer to spread butter. This side here is the uh, scoop part. This is a softer silicone. Now you would use this to get every bit of, um, you know, mayonnaise or peanut butter out of the jar. I'm gonna use it for this here. We'll get every bit of this tomato paste right out of this little tiny can. And this fits perfectly in there. And also for this, we're just gonna get every bit of this, of the crushed tomato. Perfect, throw this right here for now. My little side prep area there. There we go. Throw that in the sink. So now here's the lid. Now it does have the graphic on it, you know, to open, close, and then also you can hear it um, you can also hear it give its own little beep. I don't know if you heard that. Hear that? So you do that, and that means that it's set. The different tones mean different things. So we're just gonna go right to beef stew. I'm sorry, chili stew. Okay. So we have, we have this completely flush, we have this facing the correct way that it's supposed to. That red button is all the way down. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna hit start. That's gonna come to pressure, and then it's gonna cook for 40 minutes under pressure. And then once it's done, it'll beep, and then I'll release the pressure. And then I will post in the comments under this video the finished product. So if you have any questions, feel free to give me a call at 508-287-6208. I also have a website. You can reach me at um, pamperedchef.biz, B-I-Z, forward slash Joe Furtado, and that's J-O-E-F-U-R-T-A-D-O. -E and with the holidays right around the corner, you definitely want to look into hosting a party. I can come and make this recipe for you and your friends. There's also tons of other recipes that I can make, and it's a great way to earn free product, especially with the holidays right around the corner, or even after the holidays are over if you want to get together with some friends. And... Most importantly, if you're looking to make extra income, for me, for example, I'm an office manager for a busy dental practice here I live, but I do this on the side and I actually have so much fun. I meet so many different people um, from all over. I can also do virtual parties, and but the cooking part, that's the best part where I just, I meet, make new friends. I also make new clients. The commission for Pampered Chef is pretty great as well, I'm not gonna lie. And then almost on a monthly basis, I earn free product. So if you want to stock up your kitchen, if you're just looking for some extra cash, definitely give me a call. All right. So thank you for watching. And again, in the comments, I'm going to post the finished product of the homemade chili. Thanks for watching, everybody, and have a good evening. Thank you.